add a hold on this. Cut. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Bunny. And I'm back with the beauty. Like, hello, I'm giving looks. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. So, if you click a thumbnail, you know why we are here, honey. Because, yes. I basically have the entire... Pat McGrath Labs X Star Wars collab. We have amazing Quint formula. I got all three. And I got some glosses. I got the pods. Even Midnight Sun I pulled out. Did I buy the Star Wars edition one? No. Because I don't know what y'all think this is. Why would I buy the same thing twice? But if you are new here, you might as well hit that subscribe button. Because I'm giving you looks. I am giving you looks, okay? So, without further ado, let's get into it. I don't want to make a long intro because it's going to be a while, okay? You might even need a coffee, all right? I love you guys. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, I hope you grab some snacks. Because y'all already know when you see me in a white tee, because this seems to be the only very affordable thing that I'm willing to destroy. Because my last pet video, I had on like a cute top, all of that, earrings. Um, <laughs> it kind of got ruined. So, this is what we're going to be doing with this. <laughs> Wait, let me, oh, let me adjust this, child. Okay, yes. Gotta fit my big ass head in the frame. All right, so I have most, literally most besides three things in this collection. I swear to God, of the Pad McGrath Star Wars collection. Okay, so I always wondered how the other girlies would do all these looks in one video so I was like all right I'm gonna do one on each eye and then a finish eye look um and then we're gonna take it from there I feel like that's why I that, that, that. <laughs> so I hope that it's not messed up you know so let's save this colorful beauty for last okay i don't know which way to go especially because there's no mattes which is fine because every damn brand has mattes right so i could pull a mat from anywhere but for this video i really don't want to so I think I know what I'm going to do. Hmm. Oops, shit. Husband, you better cut that. No. <laughs> okay. I think I am going to grab this olive. Why am I trying to look in the camera to do my makeup? <laughs> okay. Um, and I just want to build it right here. I don't know why, but I kind of want this just focused on the outer part. It's giving, it's like an olive with gold sparkles, but it's pretty. It's real pretty. I'm going to just put that right here. All right. Then, I definitely recommend if you're going to use these, use like a wider to do it, but make sure it's dense. I really don't know where to go because I don't have mats to lead me. Where do I go? So this is giving me a challenge, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to 
gonna put the navy right next to this. See if I can build it up. Yep, see with the dense brush, it's giving full pigment. This is so freaking beautiful. As per usual, like it's mother pet, so we, we this it's giving what it's supposed to give. It's giving what it's supposed to give. And um, I'm going to use this gorgeous taupe and put that all on the inner part of the eye. Look at that. Yeah, these three really complement one another, and I love that. And I didn't even use the Intensifies Artistry one because I just wanted to see how it would behave without it because I know people really don't buy that and I don't know why y'all have this need to because at the end of the day like it how can I put this it's intensifying liquid period point blank like y'all need to y'all need to not sleep like what the hell y'all have us think this is stop sleeping because Everybody loves their shadow to look more intense, right? Right, right, yeah, yeah. So, buy it. I am really trying my best not to curse, but y'all y'all have us need to buy it. It's amazing. It's intensifying liquid in a balm that's not sticky, but bonds the shimmer to your eye and that, my dear, is what makes a world of difference. And it just makes it bling even more. I know I say it every video. I use it every video. I probably sound like a broken record. But me not here. Because until y'all buy it and see the magic, you're going to wish you bought it sooner. See, before I bought it, I did my research so i knew like okay we're gonna we're gonna buy it i knew what it was supposed to do so i'm gonna get this lovely shade which i kid y'all not like these shimmer this has like silvery bluey multi-dimensional colors it's just beautiful and I'm just going to put this in the inner corner. We're going to dry her up. And carry it over. If you're new here, I always do that. Oh, so bright. Mm -hmm. This one, Mama Pat, don't miss, boo. She do not miss. Now, it's a little messy right here, but that's all right. I can always blend again. It's not that big a deal. Just blend it in. And right there is enough for me. Because I just, I wiped everything off of this brush. So it really is just blending. But these looks are not going to be perfect because I'm literally going to wipe it off. I just wanted everybody to see like how the magic is. And I'm going to put this topper shade and just reiterate it, re reinforce it, sorry. Just so that it has its moment. Because it's such a topper, it's not, you know strong enough base but boy is it beautiful absolutely gorgeous boom we're done we're done this was just a freestyle i'm not gonna do the bottom lash line because it's gonna be a lot of hell for me to take it off but yeah so 
This is the look. I'm gonna have my husband zoom in, but that is the look. And next, we're doing, look at that. I love these little extra extensions um, because this is gonna look so good in a shadow box. Like, oh my gosh, I would be so happy. No, you don't fucked up, right? No, I said no. I said I pulled into the garage at <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, You know you don't fucked up, right? No! I don't know, something look a little off with this look and I can't figure out what it is because on camera I'm seeing one thing but up close I'm seeing another. I don't know what it is or why it looks splotchy right there. It's kind of weird. Maybe because I put the deepest shade in the center, but I'm honestly just freestyling and then this is the outer. Maybe I should have carried that over. Just make a footnote. I'm here on camera to make mistakes. So y'all don't. <laughs> and um, that was certainly one, but that's what I get for a uh, freestyle, honestly. That's what I get. I mean, you live and you learn, but I know next time I won't put the second to last deepest shade in the middle that was kind of dumb <laughs> i got four shades on my lid though four out of five you know at first i did not order the golden one because i was like this is the least exciting it's the least exciting but um i ended up completing the Quint collection because at the end of the day, like I said, this is a unique, creamy sort of situation. I love these Quints. I love that they are affordable, 36 bucks for a pet high quality thing. And they're a cream shadow and you get like four different formulas in this in these quints so I needed to own all of them and so far I do she's only come out with five but keep it up and everybody needs to stop bashing mother Pat because she don't miss okay but she can't please everyone it's just literally impossible and um, it's like for one everybody's like oh we pay for Pat McGrath for the luxury okay and $36 ain't luxury price so no, you're not going to get lacquer for $36. You're going to get amazing high quality cardboard that has man magnetic closures, that's hidden magnetic closures at that. So like, knock it off. Y'all complain too much. Y'all complain like it's a goddamn sport and it's really not. <laughs> Please. Stop. Okay, so now I'm going to go here. Now this Matt, um, my good sis when Dallas uh told told me like listen that one is kind of a satin it does have a sheen to it but a lovely sheen so that's what we're going for mm-hmm because I can't operate well without mats. <sighs> I will try my hardest, but it's not my thing. It's not my thing. Still, this eye is low-key bothering me. Like, every time I look on camera, it's bothering me. <laughs> but what can I do? I can't do anything. What's done is done. First impressions is, like, always the most unpredictable sort of thing that I do. Like, sometimes I'll use a palette before I film it so I know what I'm working with. I have practiced some looks. Um, but with these quints, I was like, no, let's just dive in. And I know I'm a little late, but that's because I was waiting for this guy. All of them, the whole collection sold out in 19 minutes. Like I suspected it would um, because I heard about the frenzy from the first Star Wars collab that she did so i already knew what time it was but then the fates aligned and it went to sephora and that's when i was like yes i could get the final thing i could get the final thing 
So I waited patiently so I could have everything on camera with y'all. All right, so now let me get a flat brush. I am just gonna take this flat brush, put this like deep kind of, I would say it's brown definitely, but it's like a warm, maybe auburn undertone, but I like it. I love those kind of shades. And we're just going to boop, do that, put that right here, right there. This one is calling me, but this one has like pinky sparkles in it, pinky purpley sparkles. So I think this will be inner corner and then this all over the lid. Oh, it's literally so creamy. Oh, I love it. Let me swatch it for you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. Let me turn my light up. You can really see it blinking. Okay, now I am going to of course this hand because that's the only way I can do it without putting it all over my face. If I'm on this eye, I gotta use this hand and vice versa. <laughs> Just less of a mess like that, y'all. So this is going to be your basic everyday kind of look. Okay, now for inner corner. Oh my gosh, I haven't been reading y'all names, but y'all know I suck. I think this is binary sunset. So we about to see. Oh, so pretty. So if you like pinky nudes, if you like warm tones, this guy is for you. Um, I do know you can still get this at Sephora. And um, yeah, good luck. May the force be with you. <laughs> when you try to find it, may the force be with you, bitch. I'm just gonna bring this up. This is really lovely. So lovely. You can't go wrong with this kind of look. You can't go wrong. It's every day. So I know that neither one is precise, but that's because I'm about to wipe it off. And yeah, guys, so this is a look number two. That's look number two. So, my experience so far, I love this one, which I knew I would because I like neutrals, but I love this one as well. I just kind of fumbled the ball, seeing as how we close to Super Bowl. Gorgeous, it doesn't even matter. It don't, it don't matter. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. I think we that need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Well, clean this off and we're going to come back with the Divine Droid palette. It's going to be so fun because that one I was so excited for. And yeah, so I'll be back in one second. Hi, everybody. Oh. Hi, everybody. Okay, so quick little story time. I was really having trouble creating a look and almost got frustrated, but my big sissy like was like, no, like you can do this because realistically we need mats because that's why I was struggling with divine droid. So she made a great suggestion is pull the mats from Celestial Nirvana because it's the newest one, first of all, out of the mega. But also, it has so many so strong ass magnets.
<sighs> okay, it did not work. Faith again in myself. I'm very hard on myself. Um, and I can be transparent about that. You know, I don't have any shame for being me. <laughs> like, for real. The Celestial Nirvana. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the purple. Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to place this all in the crease. It's going to be so pretty. Maybe mix a little pink in there. Okay, so just for the record, I'm grabbing both of these just to soften that purple. By the way, did anybody have staining with the peony something or other name shade from this palette? Because I did. I was shocked, but I didn't like pay attention to the ingredients and that's on me not pat because she definitely provides full transparency my black ass just ain't read that's true <laughs> and i'm gonna go in is it on camera okay because sometimes I be I don't realize it's not on camera. Okay, this purple, it's like a blue base purple, but oh, it's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Need it. Because I don't. I already got on my base. If it sticks, it's over. Yes. Oh, this one is so pretty. To me, right? Leave a comment. Have you ever realized that purple looks good on everybody? And I mean everybody, like all complexions. Now, if somebody says, oh, I don't like it, it's because maybe purple is not one of their colors to wear. But I bet you if they tried a purple look, they would probably love it. Because I've never seen purple look bad on not one person. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Oh, so beautiful. I did looks with this. Just go to my previous video. So pretty. So now we're going to get into these. Oh, I feel so much better that I use mattes. I kid you not, because I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Abort mission. <laughs> Abort it. Double homicide. Bitch. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm just going to put the Intensifies Artistry Wand. I am feeling a lot more confident having some mats. I can't live without mats, and I don't know how people can create an entire shimmer look i can't my mind don't even like work that way <laughs> to go in that direction it i just simply can't <laughs> okay so hmm, now i have plenty of colors to choose from do i want to do this do I want to do the blue? Because I'm icy, wifey. I didn't want to fight me. I know that's right. Look at that. Oh, I didn't put nothing on that finger. <laughs> put the line a little better for y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. I feel like the bronze is gonna bring this colorful look down. So I'm going to go for the blue. I'm gonna go for the blue. And we're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna have fun. A little bit of, what's it called, child? Ultraviolet Messenger, just a little bit. 
and we're just going to use that to blend where I put this purple down because this is like a nice beautiful deep satin finish with blue glitter purple in this palette I love her quince it's just so creamy and just lovely I promise okay took long enough right okay so now I'm going to grab this blue. Watch how amplified, it's gonna be more amplified than this, okay? Just because of that wand. Oh my goodness. This formula is just so sparkly and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Okay, so we're gonna go into Astro Line. Because these are wet, I think that's why. Oh, I got an itch. I think that's why a brush works so well with it because it's already wet. Like, you know, the old trick wet your brush with like some water and a mister or setting spray and boom but look at that you don't even need it you don't even need it you don't even need it you don't need it you don't need it need need it i don't know i'm honestly doing happy dance right now because i went through a lot to get here with this look okay Y'all have no idea, <laughs> but it, it's been hell. But we made it, we did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. We did it, we did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. <laughs> I love it. It's giving peacock. I don't know. But I love it. Okay, I'm going to put Astro Lime in the lower lash line. So nice. I love it. All right, I'm back. Let me do the lower lash line. Going back into the Celestial Nirvana Mega. I'm back. Hmm. I think, I think it would be very lovely to just keep it simple. Don't start getting overzealous. Cause that's what's been happening today let me just dab that in to the lower lash line okay so going back into divine droid i'm gonna just because i really want to make it even deeper right now i'm loving it just give a little sunshine right there yeah that look good on my mama on my hood <laughs> okay y'all so i'm just gonna after all of this hard work i really don't want it to end in disaster but i might just fuck up this look i'm not gonna hold you however what fun would it be than literally trying this whole collection because i got more goodies no like i have four more goodies from this collection so boop this is the ultraviolet blue this is her dark star mascara this is her blah, blah, blah. 
this is her Dark Star Color Blitz Mascara. And I got the shade Ultraviolet Blue. Now, don't be in my comments talking shit, okay? Because what had happened was is that when the money hit my bank, this was already sold out and I could have got it for um, a good price. But it is what it is. I can't lie, it is what it is. So I bought it, and I have this Star Wars thing on it, and I don't care. Look at that. I feel like it could be really fun or really bad. <laughs> Real bad. Also, this is, like, really heavy. Like, I just wanted to see if it would hurt, so I kind of whacked my husband in the head because he's always grabbing my booty. <laughs> and he was like, ah! Like, so I was like, yeah, it's a good one. So just in case, ladies, if you out and about with somebody try you, you got to see a person. Bow! No, but don't listen to me because I'm from Brooklyn. We're a little more hostile, you know. Everybody knows this. Okay. Please don't mess up. Wow. have to be very careful I've never tried mother pets mascaras since this is all galaxy and whatnot I have two of Pat's other um, highlighters but this one is screaming Star Wars because it is just like a very like light veil you see that doesn't really have much base to it and so because of that it's just all about this sparkle so that's what we gonna stick to this sparkle we just gonna place that right there i'm gonna bring it up in here too because why not it's fun I love highlighter. I have a serious highlighter problem. Like, I would say as many blushes as I have, mm, I have as much highlighter. <laughs> pretty much. Like, I'm trying to think, but I pretty much do. Like, <laughs> no exaggeration. I really do. So, that's okay. Switching brush just to get, you know, on my nose, on my nose. Make it sparkly. I am loving this fun. Oh. <laughs> you no know, hair work. Is this thing on? So now I can pull my hair forward because all of like the facial shit is done. Okay, more from the collection. More from the collection. Y'all thought I was playing? <laughs> I wasn't. Okay. So I got two lust glosses. And you know what's crazy? I think these really fit. But there is one more that I've got to show you guys. Um, that I think should have been in the collection, okay? Um, so I'm gonna do all three that I think, the third is what I think, and, um, we have Carnal Desire and Pale Fire Nectar Gloss. Snowball. If y'all hear a little little huff that's him first of all pale fire nectar so beautiful let's put this on yes i'm trying on all three. Oh, uh, so it is like rosy purpley multi-dimensional glitter i think that this one 
would be a really great like it's beautiful on its own i love wearing gloss alone but i think this one would do the world justice over lipstick so this her <laughs> okay i'm taking it off <laughs> all right next right y'all probably sick of me this is going to be a long video but it is a long detailed video a long detailed video now next is carnal desire oh it's got like fucking gold glitter with a red base so so beautiful so what's interesting is i've been waiting what feels like a year for these two colors to come back and so when i saw that these girls Oh, my stomach is growling. Sorry about that. When I saw sh these two girls was coming back in stock, I was like, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Finally. And so it says Pat McGrath Labs here, Star Wars on the other side. Sorry, I forgot to show y'all that. Now, this third, I think. should have been in the collection and it's this i really think that astro flash dance belonged here because look at it all three together is giving galaxy right this would have set the collection all the fuck way all the way off so i'm gonna put it on for y'all <laughs> especially because i'm wearing like um these purpley bluey look i think that astral flash dance needs to be on my lips like now like right now yeah i did it myself yeah I legit have like a lit ass lip brush because you can just pop this baby on. Boom, travel friendly. This little tiny thing in your purse and you're ready to go. You read to go. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. I'm going to put, what is it called again? Astro Flash Dance. Mm. so beautiful i really think pat could have included this it would have set off the gloss selection i think it was like three glosses bronze divinity was one of them but i don't care about bronze divinity because i really love my fenty glow original shade so yeah Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I'm gonna just keep building it up. I really think this one goes better with my eye look. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. I gotta wipe off the lip liner i'm one of those people like i need a napkin that's why i keep napkins in my bag in public because i really don't want my liner colors to ever be in my gloss because i just think of to me it's just going to ruin the beauty of the gloss all right well i got a little bit more we ain't done yet we are not done yet. I know y'all probably tired of sitting here. But it's more fun like this. It's so much fun like this, guys. Like, come on. Please. Please stay. Because I got these. Oh, shit. 
cut. I got these, <laughs> which are the pods. I got two out of the four. And I have Rouge Rebellion and Smuggler Spice. So let's get to swatching these. Then they have a Star Wars sticker. It's a nice weighted glass. Never, nothing with Pat ever feels cheap. Not even her cardboard quint formula feels cheap. But some people, you know, some people like complaining. I think complaining for some people is like a sport. So they're going to complain. But what I will never do is bash an amazingly talented black woman who is a trailblazer and an icon. Okay? Especially in makeup world. Especially. Okay, so boom, here's Smuggler Spice, uh, which is a crimson with a magenta undertone. Now, this is how she looks on the finger, but I promise you, y'all about to see. Y'all just about to realize that magenta undertone. Oh, I love it. And I'm not a red eyeshadow wearer, like, uh... Bronze Seduction, I don't touch that red shade. I should though, but I don't. But this, this will make me do it. I think I'll come back and do more looks with this because yeah, absolutely stunning. So it's like a creamy powder hybrid. Like it's just Chroma Lux as she calls it. I. It feels like chrome. It's giving luck. So next is Smuggler Spice. And Smuggler Spice, I felt like I needed it because, quick story time, I always, oh crap, I hope none of my thing is messed up. Didn't realize that. So I um, always wanted Divine Rose 1 for the, um, duo chrome shade and um the rest of the palette i didn't want it's just for me my skin tone it was a little ashy so i was like i'm not doing it i'm not doing it so with that being said look at this this looks like hold on Oop. sorry this looks like the shade, see that, in Divine Rose 1. So I'm a happy girl, and I'm so happy that I got this. Look at that. Yep. It is just a soft pinky to gold shift. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I don't know, I feel like I want tacos. I want tacos. Also, if you have the Tarte pots with these colors, this is why I didn't get the gold from Pat McGrath because I was like, well, I have the Tarte gold pot and I don't need two. But when I saw Rouge Rebellion, I was like, dupe. But it's not. This is a way more deeper sort of red. Like, this is a true red. It has no other undertones other than red. So I'm going to put it right next to it. You see? So, yeah, they're different. Um, the gold is going to be... Gold is gold. I don't really... Woo, gold. It's like very typical. Oh my gosh, woo, we have gold. Wow. Like, okay. I'll pass. Me personally, I don't like to have dupes in my collection. So that's why I um just don't do that. Last but certainly not least, we have Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. Now. I know it doesn't have a Star Wars sticker, but what was the point in me buying a Star Wars sticker? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because I got lucky and I got this palette um, 
for 77 bucks directly from Pat. It's been on sale forever. And it's the only other one that I wanted that I was curious about. And I love it, but I don't love it as much as my other ones. Um, and not because it's not beautiful, but just because it's quite safe. Um, so yeah, that is why. But now y'all have officially seen the entire collection. Okay, I don't know. I'm just like trying to be like, woo! So, I want to see if the Quint, if Sith Seduction has matching shades in it. So, I'm going to put this copper special shade and this other astral shade. Sorry. Can I do it? Eh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna swatch these. Oh, and how could I forget this olive? Now, I will say this olive is not as sparkly as the Quint, but I'm gonna put some space between these swatches. That way I have room to put them next to each other. So here are the three swatched. There's the green. Sorry, I have tattoos. I do appreciate that we've never had like such like a navy topper. I've actually never seen it in my life, but you know, I have to call a spade a spade. So the ones I suspect are close or identical, okay? is one, two, and three. So let's just grab it. Such a nice, smooth formula. Obviously the copper. And we're gonna do green here once again. Okay. Now, right off the bat, this copper already much smoother. Sorry, I had like glitter chunks coming up. This one is much smoother. Ah, they're not the same. Oh, that's a relief. They're not exactly the same. Oh, another one not the same. Okay, so these seem to be more amped up. Like this is from Sith, the olive. These both have gold shimmer, that's for sure. But this one is more like pow. Okay, the copper, definitely this has more orange. It's way warmer. And this one, of course, is a special formula. This is special too because it's cream, but this is just her textured, crumbly, super sparkle. And then this is her special shade, her astral shade formula. And this is that one from Sith. So these two are definitely different. Definitely different. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. It's my first time uh, com doing comparisons, so that's why I'm like super duper excited. Okay, then I want to do a comparison in Divine Droid only because I know for a fact that this bad bitch here, the first mothership mega ever, actually, for the people that never were able to get the first Star Wars collection, it's in here, okay? So, from what I'm told, well, I know for a fact, one, two, three, one, two, three, basically all of these, one, two, three, one, two, three, are both from her six pan first Star Wars collection. So obviously I'm like, mm, this purple is reminding me of another purple, which is between this and this, okay? 
Um, so I'll let me swatch purples, even this deep ass purple. Like, I feel like they are in the same family, but I want to know if we have dupes, guys. I really want to know. Like, it's kind of fun finding dupes. Honestly, it's fun swatching. I feel like I need a coffee. I've been here for some hours, girl. This is like a school assignment, but a really fun school assignment. Also, I think this gold's maybe close in the golden one, but we'll get there. So now I'm going to place, oh wow. Did not know I had copper on top of my hand. Woo, swatching always gets messy. Lord, just glitter everywhere. It's fun though, I don't mind. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this dark ass purple. This one has like a black base, I could tell. Then this one, and this one. Okay, so from there we have this. And I just wanna know if, like I already know this one isn't, so no point in swatching there. Yeah, definitely a black base. I knew it. I, I never use that color because I just don't really use deep, deep, deep colors on me. It's not my thing. Okay, maybe this purple. Let's see. I do put them next to each other. Okay, so, oh, damn. When my arm is like this, it's fine, but I don't realize how much it twists. Okay, so this one... The way it has glitter in it reminds me of the new one. This is too duochrome. This is like true purple. And then I'm going to put ultraviolet messenger right next to all of them and we'll see. Let's see who's close. Oh, okay, not, not identical, which is great for me. And um, yeah, so this, is ultraviolet messenger so they're different i'm so relieved because you know people have been real hard on pat lately about having dupes so or you or repeating and i'm not that girl i'm finna shut all of that down with this one video who gonna check me boo who gonna check me None of y'all. <laughs> okay, so from the golden one, these will be my last swatches. I'm just going to use the other side of my arm at this point because <laughs> I'm basically to my elbow and I have a big ass tattoo right there. So I'm not even going to play myself. Okay, so I am going to look and see Wagwan. I'm looking for myself real quick. That way I know what to grab. Okay, so two might be similar. I really love this first Mega. And it's just like really exciting to have everything, you know, in your hands. So I'm going to take this one, let me use this finger. Okay, so different, okay, which is great. So I'm just going to place it here and there. Let's see on the skin, they're different, they're close though. More pink in this one, this is from this first Star Wars, which is this one right here is what's at the top. Both are toppery. Ooh, I think I might have found this green in here. How could I miss that? Okay, so this green. Ooh, they crumbly, but in a good way. Um, this green, not giving y'all the middle finger. Please don't be offended. Um, I'm going to slide it right up in the middle. Even then, it's a different green. Oh my god, it makes me so happy. I can't wait to show my sis all of these swatches because, yeah. 
we we love comparing stuff. Like she's literally my spirit sister. I love you in Dallas. And now let's get back to the gold. I really don't think there is a same gold in here. Maybe one. So I'm gonna put this and this. Oh, wet. Every time I feel it, it's way different. So I'm taking this one and this one right up in here, okay? And we're going to swatch. Boom and boom. Different. Oh, this is the new one stunning and this is the first mega okay so that is all the comparisons i'm pretty sure it's gonna be like an hour and some change <laughs> i'm gonna try to make it as short as possible y'all um but if we are you're still here we made it together we're crossing the finish motherfucking line so if you like what you see please Hit subscribe. Come on now. I'm I'm giving you looks. I promise. Today was just like it was it was good, then it went bad, and then it went good again. It it be like that sometimes. It really be like that sometimes. With makeup. But you live and you learn to fight another day. Alright, you guys. So if you made it this far. It went bad, then it went good, then it went even better. With all the looks, with all three palettes, thank you for staying here and bearing with me, okay? I hope I made it fun for you guys. Please subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a like. And I'll be back because we got a lot of goodies. Way more Pat McGrath goodies too. But yeah, I love you guys so much, okay? Because when you come to the Caldwell show, you become family. So it's just, it's a really beautiful thing. So bye guys. Until next time. <laughs>